But if you contact me and email me for a recommendation before you buy a product, I will, I will guarantee that it will work for you, that the right size attachment is gonna be recommended. I bought a Titan 60 inch rock scooper bucket that weighs 778 pounds, which I'm receiving this week from Titan. Hey, keep it down, June. Is my John Deere 2025R tractor gonna be okay handling the rock bucket? And can I use the rock bucket with the backhoe on the back? Okay, so 778 pounds. So first of all, I wanna state that, you know, I've been thinking for a long time on, on some way to, to offer this and do this. I want to lower the risk for customers. I wanna lower the risk for myself. And I am very comfortable doing this. Um, we'll probably put it up on our website at some point, but if you watch this video, you can reference this at any point in the future. But if you contact me and email me for a recommendation before you buy a product, I will, I will guarantee that it will work for you, that the right size attachment is gonna be recommended. If you aren't sure what quick attach to get and you, you answer the questions that I ask, you know, if, if you need to get a skid steer quick attach, a John Deere quick attach, a Yanmar quick attach, a global quick attach, a pin down bucket, whatever it is, if you ask me ahead of time, I can guarantee you, you're gonna get the right information on the right setup, the right size, whatever it is to fit your tractor, whether it's the front end loader or the three point hitch. Sometimes that means I'm gonna send you diagrams for you to verify because I can't physically measure all this stuff and I don't have the time to go through and measure every single thing that you have or research it all online. And lots of times the information isn't there, but I can certainly give you the information so that you right there with your tractor and your attachments can measure something if you need to, or uh, look at a pin size or determine what kind of quick attach you have. I can give you the information and I do that for two reasons. Number one, it's very time consuming for me to do that when I don't have all the information, way too much back and forth, it's very tedious and cumbersome. And number two, it makes you a smarter tractor owner. You get the information that you need. You get to understand better what I'm talking about and in the tractor world and for you to be a, a more knowledgeable tractor owner for your equipment that you have down the road and future purchase that, purchases that you wanna make, you're gonna be more comfortable and more confident in that as well. And so those are a couple of the reasons there. One, selfish, I don't have the time. Two, to make you smarter with your own equipment down the road. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So anyway, on that note, the first thing that I realize or read is 778 pounds, which I'm thankful that he put that weight in there. Makes me think that he has a little bit of a, a question mark. The downside is he already bought the attachment. So he also provided a tractor model, a John Deere 2025R, which lifts, it has a, it has a same series loader as the John Deere 1025R. So it's got a 120R loader on there. Round numbers, it lifts 750 pounds at the base of the loader. So not out here. It's not lifting 750 pounds. It's lifting 750 pounds way back there. At the, go to the end of the loader arms, way back there is where it's lifting 750 pounds. So off the bat, it's not going to work, right? So the bucket that's on a 10, or on a 2025R weighs 180, 200 pounds, somewhere right around there. He's getting a bucket that's literally almost four times the weight. And then that's empty. That's not even putting anything inside it and then wondering if the setup is gonna work for his tractor. And I flat out told him that's, I, I said, it's way, 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 in parentheses, did I emphasize that enough? Way, 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 way too heavy for your tractor. Unfortunately, that didn't hit home with him because he came back and still asked me if he put more ballast weight in the back of his tractor, if it would work or not. And so I explained that your, your loader only lifts 750 pounds at the, at the pin, at the base of the loader arm, like in a perfect world. And that's less than what this bucket weighs. And then what are you gonna put inside it to lift up? You're not gonna have any capacity to put in there either. And he came back and said, well, we, they've got a 600 and some pound version that's a little bit smaller. And I don't know if, you know, sometimes I am too direct with folks and I, I don't take the time to, to mention all the details, but 
tell me if I'm wrong, if that, if that seems to make sense or not, you know, 600 pounds on a loader that lifts 750 pounds is still way too heavy. I mean, if your standard bucket only weighs 200 pounds and then you can fill that full of another two, three, four, 500 pounds of dirt, you're getting to your max weight. So, I mean, if you want to have any usable capacity inside the tool, and that could be with a bucket, it could be on a set of pallet forks, it could be a grapple, anything that's going to pick up and carry a load, you need to have enough capacity beyond the weight of the tool to accommodate that load. So this is why I, I started this off by saying, if you contact me ahead of time, I'm going to set you up the right way because now he's got to try to to get that thing it's in transit to him he's got to try to turn that thing around and get it sent back to titan i asked if he talked to titan ahead of time and, and he didn't um but i i I've, it's just a bad situation for a customer to be in and that's you, you honestly you see that even on local dealership type stuff as well i still get emails like this man my i just had one last week actually i wish i could find it a guy bought a grapple the grapple was the same kind of situation it was like a six or seven hundred pound grapple on uh, I think it was like a 2032R or 2038R, if I'm right. And that is way too heavy for that size of a tractor. You're just using, it's overkill. The, the tool is overbuilt. There's nothing you can do with a tractor that small to damage a tool that's that overbuilt. And it's just too heavy to be able to make it usable. And there's going to be too much steel in there, too much support. It's for a much bigger tractor, like a four series tractor or uh, a medium sized skid steer even. It's just the wrong size tool. And that's something that... Um, I would love to have a feature on our website where you could plug in your tractor model number and it would spit out all the compatible attachments for it. That would be a dream of mine. But unfortunately, to implement that kind of a functionality would probably, it, it'd be somewhere in the ballpark of 50 to 75 grand to do that. It would be an insane amount of time to, for coders to create that kind of functionality, just weeks and weeks of my time to go through and identify the right size and model of all of the variations that are on our website and what tractor makes and models it'll work for. And so it's a lot more efficient for me just to have you email me ahead of time. And of course, I would love it if you're going to buy something from us, but if you're just looking in general and you're shopping other websites and you can't get the information, I can still give you a quick answer so that, you know, if you're looking for a snow pusher or a grapple or uh, a rototiller or whatever it is for your front and loader three-point hitch, I would much rather have you set up for success and getting the right tool the first time than spending your hard-earned money on the wrong tool, being stuck in a bad situation where you have to send it back or try to sell it off for a loss and then get the right thing. And, you know, and, and honestly, sometimes we have folks that email us, I give them the information and then they still order the wrong thing. So you can only do what you can do. You can control what you can control, but if you take my recommendation, you're not going to go wrong. Now, he is thinking along the right lines with ballast weight, right? If I have a really heavy attachment on the front end loader, is my big backhoe on the back going to be enough to offset that? And yeah, it would be. I mean, just to lift it up off the ground a little bit if you can do that. But it's, it's not going to make you lift more in that sense, right? It's not going to, because you have a, if you had 2,000 pounds of ballast weight in the back end, hypothetically, you probably even couldn't. It's not going to allow you to lift 2,000 pounds with your front end loader on a tractor that physically can't do that, right? There's still just the limitations of the, of the equipment and the machine that come into play. So anyway, this is just a real world example of trying to help a customer out. And man, I wish it was just a few days earlier that he had contacted me prior to getting that order placed there. And I could have just steered him in a better direction and, and saved some of that headache. But at least now it's, it's not a used piece of equipment. He's not gonna be able to be trying to use it and then have to go through the return process. He might be able to get it rerouted and sent back before it even shows up and at least minimize the headache there and then hopefully find a right tool. We actually did. We we found a right one from a different competitor that I still don't sell, um, but that's a much better fit for his size of a tractor and I think he'll be exponentially happier with and just a win-win all around. Now on that note, we would love to help you out. And if we have the right attachment for you, I'd love to earn your business. We ship nationwide. So we have attachments for the front end loaders and the three-point hitch. Maybe not everything, but, but darn close to everything you might need for your tractor. So check out goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.